Dum Dums, the unsung hero of candy. Since 1924, John Dum Dum and the Dum Dum Candy Company have been carrying the miniature lollipop industry on their backs, and they've never asked you for anything in return. They deserve respect, and quite frankly, I don't think they get enough of it, because they've always been there for you. Think about all the grandmother's candy dishes you've reached into, or perhaps all the times you went trick-or-treating and you found a nice watermelon dum-dum in there and you said, oh, cool, dum-dum. I mean, yeah, sure, you were looking for, like, the other stuff, but I think that's just a testament to how great dum-dums are. You're never mad about it, you know? Like, you're never like, oh, I nobody turns their nose up to a dum-dum, because quite frankly, they do no wrong. I love them. And so... That's why we're going to be reviewing and ranking all 16 flavors. Welcome to the Dum Dum Review. And for this episode, we are doing... Watermelon. Let's get started. So, we're going to start with the watermelon wrapper. Now, if there's one thing that you can say about the watermelon wrapper is that they understood the assignment. You know damn well the moment that you open up this bad boy what it's going to taste like. And it's going to taste like sweet artificial watermelon. At least that's what you'd hope it would taste like. I mean, look at it. You got your dum dum logo. It looks very cute. It's very fun. It's all done in the colors of watermelon, so I'm going to definitely add some points for that. And the watermelon iconography Come on, look at that. That's a cute little melon right there. Look at that guy. It's so fun. I'm glad that they didn't go with, you know, they, 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 they you sometimes people just have the, the, the whole gourd, right? Watermelon's a gourd. I think a watermelon is a, I'm fair. I'm, wait, no, it's a melon. <laughs> Hi, I'm editing this video right now. I just needed to absolutely make sure that a watermelon is a melon and not a gourd. So, Give me a second. A watermelon, a gourd. A watermelon is a member. It's a family of gourd. It's related to the cucumber and squash. It's so watermelons are berry. There's some conflicting evidence. Are all melons gourds? Exploring the gourd family. It's a gourd. All right, cool. Just. Just wanted to make sure. So yeah, they have the whole, they have, the, they could have gone with just showing you the whole melon, just a, just a circle, a green circle, the stripes, but no, they went the step ahead, they sliced that bitch into, into quarters, I, slices, I, I, yeah, that's a quarter, right? They sliced it into quarters, they arranged it in a really fun, uh, in a really fun way. This is a solid, solid wrapper. I'm going to, I'm, I gotta, I gotta give it like a seven out of 10. This is some good stuff right here. It, this is, this is like, this is like as, I don't want to say this is as good as it gets, but it definitely speaks to the person eating the lollipop, what they're in for. And at the end of the day, that's what they're going for. And I think they, I think they did that. They did a great job on that. Now we're on to the taste test portion of the episode. And I mean, there's also something that I want to get into. The color of this guy is just so artificially pink and watermelon. I mean, it's just, it's a very, very nice, shiny, not translucent, but you can kind of look through it just a tiny bit. It looks like a jewel. It looks like something that would be on the Infinity Gauntlet. It's pretty sick. I love the color of this guy. As for color, probably my favorite color. We're going to give it a pink out of 10. And now, let's put it in our mouth. You know, when you first, when you first give it a taste, when you first give it a lick, There's a moment where you're where you're you're really kind of tasting it, and you're like, "Yeah, this tastes somewhat like watermelon." I I would like to imagine that um, they tried their best here, 
But when you really, really taste it, when you really, really try and find that watermelon flavor, it's kind of not there. And I think they were banking on the fact that if they gave you a hint of watermelon, that's all they needed. They did their job. But really, when you taste it a little bit more than I think they were expecting you to taste it, it's not... You really taste it at the end. Notes of watermelon, but no. It's mostly sugar. And that's unfortunate. Because whenever I think of watermelon, I think of like your Jolly Rancher watermelons or stuff like that. But this just doesn't, this isn't doing it for me. Mm-mm. No. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's good. I, I like it. I want that to be said. It's pretty good. But in terms of flavor, it's, it's, it's very dull. It's the idea of watermelon. It's not tangy, but it's very sweet. Hmm. It's, it's fine. It's not, I, I, I was, I was wrong. I thought that this was going to be one of the, one of the just like easy go-tos, but, uh, unfortunately this is a huge, huge dent in its ranking. So let's go to the tier list. Here's our tier list. We have, I didn't want to do your simple S tier, B tier, A tier, all that, all that nonsense. Here's our watermelon. Unfortunately. I really, really thought that this guy was going to be a certified classic. Um, what ended up happening was I, I, I was wrong. It's it's simply just fine. It's it's fine. I don't have it. It's it, I don't have anything. It's it does it tastes somewhat of watermelon. It's not the best. I'm not crazy about it. If I if I saw, I'd go. Oh yeah, cool watermelon. And that's what it is. And as unfortunate as that actually is, especially when I thought much higher of it before I looked at it with a with the eye of review, um, I really would have put it probably as a certified classic. But unfortunately, it's just okay. So there you go. That's it. That's our first episode of the Dum Dum Review. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be many more, at least 15 more, to come. And, um, go buy yourself a dum-dum today. Go find one. I'm sure you can find one, like, outside on the floor or something. They're everywhere. Uh, have fun. You guys drive safe. And, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your day. Please clap.